what is going on youtube there it is we are live youtube what's going on it's your guy kent hollywood matt singer and guess who we're hanging out with tonight we got the one the only lady days hello 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 everyone come on try to pull up chat yeah, I have to. I have to skip my own survey. I, I should have took the time to hopefully get some money there. <laughs> it's your own AdSense. Oh yeah. All right, we got eleven. Oh wow, we just went from like eleven to sixteen people. Everybody jumping on, appreciate it. Uh, hopefully the neighbor mowing his lawn. You know, right when I go live isn't too loud. Uh, he should only have like a few more passes. So uh, bear, bear <laughs> with the, the lawnmower man as uh, as we get ready to go live tonight, those lady days. Can't help the lawnmower man. Yeah, he's, he's got to get it Long done. Long mode. <laughs> and let's see who we got in the chat tonight. We hey, Christina. Got... Yeah, Christina Payne in the house. Mary777, Ed Martin. We got Brant, the legendary Punisher. Nice. Hey, Brant. How you doing, buddy? Oh, Bean is in the house. Hey, String Bean. Magoo Fitz Farters. That's a, that's a Fitz good one. <laughs> Magoo Fitz Fata. That's a great name. I love it. Got Cat and Al Alvis in the chat. Got Batman Popster23 in the chat. Ramon Stone. Hey, 422. Hey, honey. <laughs> Fire King, String Bean, Tasha. What is going on? All kinds of great people in the chat. Hey, I see Space Child. What's happening, Space Child? That's Mr. Days for anyone who doesn't know. Yeah, I was trying to listen, see if he was in the background, maybe. He must be watching no. in the room. He's in the other room. He's not in here. I was, I was going to say I was jealous. Uh, I was watching your Cletus uh, prize video, and I was like, man, I wish the dogs would hop onto some of these giveaways. <laughs> Like, when I'm not winning, when I'm not grabbing these pops, like, why aren't the dogs hopping on and getting that for me? Uh, space Yeah, I didn't even know he was in the... I didn't know we were watching the same live stream. I had no idea. I was just, like I said, watching the stream in the other room, like, cleaning my kitchen, and he was in here, I guess. And then when they said his name... Because I wanted to win. I couldn't enter it because I forgot my Facebook password because that's how long I've been on Facebook. <laughs> And then when they said his name, I was like, oh, man, yes. So thank you, hubby. Thank you. Yeah, it, uh, it never hurts to have those uh, those little backup plans and uh, maybe uh, maybe one more extra entry. You know, every, every little bit helps. It's SDCC week. Yeah, it is, man. Everybody and their mama's talking about it. Oh, yeah. You're, uh, you're not going to get away from uh, the old SDCC this week. Uh, a lot of videos going up, uh, if they haven't already. So, And uh, speaking of SDCC, Wednesday night, 10 p.m., Jetta Patrol. We're going to have another mega stream, so make sure you tune in for the mega stream. Uh, there might be, like, some rails being given away on Wednesday night. So you might want to have uh, your extra account set up. Uh, tell your friends, tell your enemies, uh, make a few accounts for your dog. <laughs> it's uh, it's going to be an tell your long known neighbor. Girl on fire. What's going on? And King fire. What's happening? All kinds of good people in the chat tonight. Hi, Cassandra. That's girl on fire. How you doing, girl? But yeah, we're uh, we're gonna have so, a lot of fun on the mega stream. But we're gonna have a lot of fun tonight because I haven't had an opportunity to hang out with Lady Days in a while. So we're gonna get caught up. We're gonna have fun on Kent Pool Live. 
She's going to show us some awesome stuff that she picked up. And uh, she might have picked up something pretty awesome for me that she sent. And uh, maybe if y'all are being good in the chat, we'll, uh, we'll open that box up. <laughs> oh, you better. <laughs> so be good, Chad. Be good. Awesome stream and collection. Pro oh, yeah, Raymond. He's got... He, I wish I can set my figs up like you. I, I just can't. They have the same boxes or hanging down the wall because I have kids. And if I had them like that, they would just continuously knock them down and want to play with them. I mean, I don't blame them, but the, the, you know, they have their toys and mama has her toys. <laughs> the, the challenge and not to touch is mine. if it hits the floor, that's, uh, that's when the plastic's in trouble. So Got to gotta keep them all the way from the dogs. I understand that pain. I've been there. Yeah, they, uh, they think it's fair to get on the floor. <laughs> Do you think sometimes they just will it? They just stare at it like, just, just fall, just fall. Uh, I have just one. The other one, she could probably care less. Uh, she's too busy sleeping. Mm. Hey, Nick, how you doing? Nick Adams, he's great. You should subscribe to him if you're not subscribed. <laughs> so what did you... Uh... I'm sorry, what? Ooh, space I was going to say, what did you pick up? How many legends? Uh, too many. Look at them all up there. I counted them one. I was going to say... Yeah, I counted them once. I was going to say, video. do you need to have a concrete number? I want to say it's right around maybe close to 540, maybe the 550 range. Sweet baby Jeebus. And some of that's, that's army insane. building. Like, that's all the same figure, but just multiples. So it's, uh, it's crazy sometimes. Yeah, man. That's like the biggest problem, though, for like collectors, isn't it? Space. <laughs> Just finding space. Oh, man. Because uh, we recently, we got a, it was a free bookshelf off of Craigslist because I needed a new, a bigger bookshelf. Right. And that's already, it's already filled up. I don't, uh, it's, so anybody else got a free bookshelf they want to send my way. <laughs> yeah, I got uh, I got this one from a uh, good old Facebook. Somebody was uh, just giving it away, and it's getting pretty full real fast. I know. That's when you feel like maybe I should get rid of some stuff, but then now you can't. You just can't. <laughs> just can't gotta, do it. Got to keep the collection going. Do I see Glenn exactly. Funko? I see Jeanette. What's happening? Welcome to the chat. Hey, Sue. Stopia guy. What's happening? So many great people in the chat. Uh, the best part about being live in studio, uh, like when I'm riding in the car, like yesterday, it is so difficult to see names. So it's uh, it's always great to be in studio and see all the awesome people hanging out in the chat oh hey chino santos he's all the way from sydney oh nice very cool thanks for stopping in i mean glamma we're neighbors hi sue i mean not really but <laughs> pretty close definitely definitely closer than me that was a fun vid. I like that you guys hung out. I'm also super jealous. Some yeah, guy. I have to. I told her I sh I should have came up for uh, celebration, but uh, unfortunately, I had just too much stuff going on to make it up to celebration. But I'll uh, I'll find a Chicago show one of these times and have to come up and check it out. 
I'm going to that horror con in August 4th, I think. Well, you, you know I'm a big baby. I might be too scared to go to that one. <laughs> I love it. I love horror. It's my one of my faves. And then I've been uh, slacking. I heard uh, good things about uh, the Motor City, uh, the Comic-Con that they have in Detroit. So I, uh, growing up in that area, I might have to get up to one of those cons one of these days. I love a good con. It's been a, it's been a hot minute since I've been to one. And I really need to go. And then there goes all my money. <laughs> You gotta pay to get in uh, to spend your money. Or hey, you, gotta, you gotta know a guy. So I might know a guy that uh, kind of got me in on a press pass yesterday. So got to cover Atlanta Comic Con. That was a lot of fun. It was a lot of driving if you got to see the live stream. But uh, if everybody got an opportunity to check out the video today, I uh, had a lot of fun in Atlanta. There were some other great YouTubers. I got to meet Captain Pop. That was pretty awesome. Uh, OG Geek, uh, awesome guy. Uh, definitely had fun hanging out with him. Uh, we got to see Big Dubs, Josh Pence, all kinds of uh, cool YouTubers. And of course, as much as I love FaceTime and look the guy, uh, I actually got to spend the day with Greg Cook. So that is, uh, if you ever get the opportunity to spend a day with Greg Cook, I highly recommend it. Me and Greg are supposed to. He says he comes to Chicago a lot for his work. So when he comes, we're supposed to hang out, go get some pizza, some good old Chicago pizza. Glamour, you know what's up. We got the best pizza. Gannis, what's going on? Welcome to the chat. Yeah, uh, so yesterday was a warm-up. Uh, Greg will actually be coming to Charlotte in two weeks, and uh, we're going to Raleigh Galaxy Con, so that should be a lot of fun. Uh, luckily, Greg's able to come up a little early, so he's going to be here Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then he's driving back Monday. So definitely uh, make sure you got those notifications on because we we might be live for like 24 hours. I don't know. It, it's going to be crazy. <laughs> well, my notifications are on for both of you, so I'll be there. Lance, what's going on? Nick Money, what's going on? Warming up the water. Is it? Is it warm? Uh, it was hot down here today. Yeah, it's pretty hot in Chicago, finally. It, we were having a pretty slow go at it uh, in June. It was either raining or cold. It was insane. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Grandma, I will definitely uh, call you when me and Greg hang out, and we'll have a you know a meetup, all three of us. <laughs> don't uh, don't and overwhelm then, Greg. No, it's not raining by me right now, Glamma. But you know that's subject to change in here in the shy. So. So anyway, what did you what did you get yesterday? Did you get anything? Uh, is that a video? A couple things. Uh, if anybody that saw the video, so I didn't buy anything at the con, and I'm closing out the video. Spoilers, and uh, all of a sudden, uh, Ryan says, "Yeah, you got something at the con," and I was like, "What are you talking about?" Uh, he shows me this Ric Flair, which is the, the ex, um, exclusive that came with the WWE 2K19 game. Uh, he's got the big heavy belt. And, uh, so yeah, Ryan surprised me with this pop 
and this thing is awesome. I'm so excited to add it to the collection. Uh, I didn't even see it coming. Uh, he said he was going to use the bathroom. I was hanging out with Greg, and then like four hours later after the con, here's the pop. He, uh, he got me. Wow. Super jealous. Not really. <laughs> I'm not into the wrestling. <laughs> Yeah. You know that already, um, but yeah. I knew I knew someone else who's got a extremely big belt, a big shiny belt. It's uh, it's hiding behind Captain America back there. You, you, yeah. can, see the, you can see the pop. Yeah, you deserve it. You deserve it. You really kicked my butt. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll have to ask Ryan. Uh, we haven't had an opportunity to set up another Pop Wars. We'll have to we'll have to see if, uh, if people still still want to see Pop Wars or if it's uh, if it's over. I'd do it again in a heartbeat. That was fun. It was super fun. Uh, even after like after we got off like being live, people were like, "What were you guys doing? What was going on?" Because I was the word girl running from Hot Topic <laughs> to, to go calendar back and forth. They're like, what were you doing? I was like, Pop Wars. <laughs> I, uh, I think everybody got scared there for a little bit with uh, getting booted out of stores and stuff. So we, uh, we might have to see if we can uh, maybe bring it back. I, I warned the Hot Topic people. I said I was going to be live streaming and playing a game basically um we bought some pops after two you know for good measure right right <laughs> but it was fun Dude, what's fun. going on judge jack harold green what is going on everybody thanks for hanging out with us on a sunday night hey harold uh you guys you gotta check out his instagram man he's got the best pictures I swear. Uh, Harold does awesome, awesome pictures. Uh, anybody asking in the chat, uh, the awesome Christina Payne, she's uh, she put up reminders. I do still have uh, mystery boxes, so definitely check out uh, campoollive at gmail.com. Just shoot me an email if you want additional information about those. Uh, speaking of gods, and they'll be like, shipped uh, out in a timely manner. Uh, my birthday is December 9th, so they'll be out by my birthday. <laughs> uh, maybe. <laughs> Promise. If I, if you don't get them by my birthday, I will give you a full refund. <laughs> maybe. If, if PayPal lets me. <laughs> yep. Which if I and, don't spend yeah. 3000 on Pops, it lets me. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, of this year or next year? <laughs> Harold would like right. to know. <laughs> some, some year. Some year. In the, in the future. Friends and family only. Exactly, Nick Money. Exactly. That's uh, that's all I have is friends and family, you know. Yeah. That's uh, that's how you don't have bad customer service. You know, you can treat friends and family terrible. Yeah, right, exactly. They have no choice but to still love you. Uh, they are friends. They're, they're not customers then. <sighs> so, yeah, I got that awesome Ric Flair pop. Uh, I also got surprised by greg cook so check out uh tomorrow's video if you want to see what uh greg cook got me uh we got over to plastic empire while we were down in atlanta they have an awesome shop uh you're gonna see a bunch of awesome pops some grails some signed pops and uh after the video, we get back to the toy room and uh, show you guys and gals what the one and only Greg Cook picked me up. So definitely check out that video tomorrow if you want to see 
what Greg Cook got me. And also, when I got home, there was a box from Hasbro. So if you want to see what Hasbro sent, definitely uh, check out tomorrow's video. I will be there. I will check it out. What uh, what pickups did you get this week? I got, well, my bestie, shout out to her. She got me the Mysterio. I'm still on the search for the glow-in-the-dark one because Manny is really into the glow-in-the-dark pops. Uh, so glow way into this one. Um, so we did get the glow-in-the-dark Molten Man. And still on the hunt for the Mysterio. Uh, oh, I got this guy. I did a video on the world's cheapest Funko Pop. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. They I paid a whopping six cents. You, right? Yeah, they did overcharge me because it says it's freaking zero dollars. <laughs> <laughs> that it was zero dollars. They charged me six cents. And uh, I do, you know, I love zombies, obviously. And I can oh, yeah. play Call of Duty. I'm not going to get anything else from this line, but I couldn't pass that up for six cents. Because uh, it's insane. a zombie. I mean, that could easily be uh, Walking Dead. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Speaking of Walking Dead, another great segue. <laughs> I, picked up, I picked up the... Um, 191, 192, and 193. You know, the first first editions. I bought two of this one. One to actually read and one to keep minty somewhere and possibly, you know, retire off of, hopefully. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I picked those up. And then there's the 192 in memoriam cover. So I did buy a variant of oh, that's that cool. one. So, yeah, I picked up some comics. Um, I need a couple, two tree of those. <laughs> exactly, Glamour. One, two, three. Three comics. I got a guy. Got a guy who hooked me up. <laughs> Just, uh, just because when you're from Chicago, you gotta buy them. Just wait a few years. Late Jays might be ready to sell them in a few years, you know? Yeah, I say that, but I would never. <laughs> I just would never. She'll, she'll show you the one that she read. Right. Exactly. <laughs> it's stormy here, so sorry if I lose connection. It's okay, Christina. We understand. Bad weather sucks. Oh, actually, you know, speaking of Walking Dead, I got this guy, too. Um, I collect all this. This is the last one I needed for the McFarland figs, the 10-inch Walking Dead McFarland figs. I needed the Negan. Oh, that's awesome. And you know me? I'm cheap, okay, because if I can find a six cents pop, I found this guy at Ross for $10. And anybody who collects these knows they are way more, way more than $10. So this is also a pickup I got recently, and I love him. Needed it. See, I'm jealous. Like I try to uh, try to get a deal and stuff, but it's like every time I run into Ross, like I don't know if I'm the last person to check out the store. I've only got like a couple things, and uh, I don't know if I'm just too slow. I don't check enough. Um, it, it depends. It's like Ross is one of those places, like one week you can't find anything. And the next week, um, I found a bunch of those, um, what are they called? The metal, full metal figs. Yeah. You sent me a Gwenpool one or no, a spider Gwen. That's right. Spider Gwen. Uh, I found those there before. Um, I've seen a couple pops, but nothing that I was ever into. So I yeah, didn't buy I them. Saw, like a Minecraft pop last time I was there. Yeah, I wouldn't have bought that either. But yeah, the, that was the first time I've seen a McFarland fig, though. So I was like, yes, you're coming home with me. Uh, <laughs> ten bucks. I don't even think I paid ten bucks. I think we paid less than that. Oh, Sometimes awesome. I love that when you grab something, though, and you go to checkout, and it rings up even cheaper than what you thought it was, and you're just like, yes. 
get them deals. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's definitely the way to do it, uh, especially, like, when I'm army building and stuff. Like, I don't want to pay full price for every figure. Like, I'll, I'll get them on clearance. I'll, uh, I'll play the long game. I love a good deal. I have four kids. I got babies. You know what I mean? I got to be cheap. <laughs> I got to be frugal with my coin. But yeah, that's an awesome figure. And again, if uh, if you're getting a deal on it, you uh, you keeping it in box or is it going out of box? Oh, oh yeah, all of them are still in box. Um, maybe someday I'll have a room, you know, just dedicated to my stuff. But uh, for now, they're in boxes way, way up high because my kiddos would love to get their hands on them. I've seen Black Series 2, Harold, for real cheap. Well, obviously, for five and below. At five below. Uh, so anybody who collects those, I would check out your five below because they have them there, usually. Yeah, I luck out. Uh, I found a few Star Wars figures. Uh of course, because I don't collect them anymore. So I've either hooked up Harold or uh, Jetta. Uh, I always try to go in there to find Marvel Legends. And again, I don't know if uh, if my area doesn't get them or everybody beats me to five below, but uh, always looking for Marvel Legends at uh, five below. I haven't really seen any at mine of the Marvel Legends. Yeah, it's been a while since I've really seen, like, people posting. Like, they used to get whole waves and stuff, so I don't know. I, try I only to have one. I have my Gwenpool. Thank you, Glamma. Um, yeah, she sent me a Gwenpool. And I really, I keep, every time I go to GameStop and I see the Lady Deadpool, I'm like, oh, I should pick it up. And then I go, no. And then I always, like, have buyer's remorse. Like, damn, I should have got it. So, someday. Someday I'll have her. Yeah, I don't uh I don't know who encourages people to buy all these Marvel Legends. So <laughs> oh, I don't I have no clue. It's like, no. like some dude has uh has like a YouTube channel or something or Instagram and just uh keeps telling people about uh, all these Marvel Legends. That that guy's trouble. Mm. Oh, Thank you, by the way, too, because your Instagram actually you showed the um, Stranger Things McFarland fig of the um, the four pack Ghostbusters, them dressed as Ghostbusters. Oh, there and you the go. Second, the second I saw you post that, me and Manny were like, "Let's go, let's look." We were on the hunt, and we found it. Um, or you you actually posted that it was for ten, and then we got it on that whatever it is Saturday when they take a little extra off or whatever. Yeah, so the we got member. it for seven dollars. I was like, yes, please. So thank you for that, because oh, I wanted cool. that from the minute I saw it, like months ago when it dropped. I was like, oh, I want that. Are, uh, you, are you guys going to get the Demi-Gorgon? Um, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to buy a, a crap ton more of those. I did want the Ghostbuster pack, because like it's a very iconic scene, and it's the sure. Ghostbusters, and it's the 80 nostalgia show, you know? So I got that, and I do need... Um, an 11. I want to at least uh, get the Demi Gorgon. Uh, it's like 11 bucks at Target right now. That thing was 40. Really, yeah. Hmm. Most, uh, most of the targets around here have it on clearance for uh, for 11. I was just at my Target earlier today and I was looking around, but I could not find it. They do have the first season on Blu-ray for eight dollars. For anybody who's interested. Thanks what to Kent Lucas. Uh, cow farts. <laughs> That's a great channel name. Hey, there's Captain Pop. Uh, I was telling people earlier. Uh, definitely was awesome to uh, to meet you at the con yesterday. Uh, man, driving up from Florida. Uh, hopefully, you didn't have all the crazy weather we had driving back up to North Carolina. So, definitely was cool meeting you yesterday, Captain Pop. 
asking about the Little Shop of Horrors, the Audrey 2. I don't have any of the Little Shop of Horrors, but I love that movie. Talking about Pops? I don't know if he's talking about Pops. He just said, well, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I, I was just thinking how crazy that would be if, uh, if that was like a uh, McFarlane. The, uh, the Audrey 2, that would uh, that'd be pretty pretty crazy looking. Yeah. I almost bought the Pennywise NECA today to go with my... I only have one other one. I have the Jason with the sackcloth. Yeah. I almost bought him. But I'm like, uh, like if I buy it now, you know next week there's going to be a sale, right? So, <laughs> like, just hold your horses. Uh yeah, I was impressed, uh, like, NECA doing the accessory pack for Pennywise. Like, that's crazy. You're, uh, you're definitely next level if, uh, if you're buying the Pennywise accessory set. I saw that today, but I don't think it should be the same price as the actual figures, in my opinion. I think they should maybe knock off a few dollars. I was surprised, and uh, maybe I just didn't look at it enough. I thought, like, there'd be a window kind of showcasing what was in it, but uh, I guess I didn't look at it enough. I had a blast meeting and hanging out with the three-pack. I had solid rain and traffic to drive up on Friday. Driving home was blue skies and open roads. Oh, Ooh. that's awesome. Nice. Uh, Glamma, I need, I need the Conan Pennywise pop so bad. I know that is not going to happen and it upsets me <laughs> so much, but God, if I get my hands on the Conan Pennywise pop, I would be so excited. Um, I love Conan O'Brien and I love, um, obviously it, but. Now, am I, uh, am I the only one that's disappointed that uh, the balloon says uh, dairy instead of, like, SDCC on it? Because uh, I thought that'd be a little, nice little opportunity there. Um, I didn't even realize the balloon said something. <laughs> I just love that awesome swoop of hair they got going on. Yeah, I think it says uh, I heart uh, dairy. Hmm. No, I did not notice that. And uh, I always imagine, like, at the Funko headquarters, they're, like, cutting the head off of the original pop and then putting the Conan head on. I don't, I don't know if that's yeah. uh, creepy at all. Yeah, I, I think they do that a lot more often than we realize, actually. Um like, eh, we got... When, I, Funko okay. dropped that Halloween. when Funko dropped that Halloween bear, the Care Bears, it's literally the body of Sunshine Bear, I believe, with just a head and a hat. It's the only thing they did. It's the same freaking thing. Reason why you don't work for Funko, Kent? He should. They should pay him. One of these days. Funko, get on it. All right, so uh, we'll see how many people in the chat. I mean, according to this, 900,000 people have taken the pledge. We'll see if any of them are in the chat. 900,000 take Facebook pledge to Storm Area 51. Is there anybody in the face in the chat? That's uh, that's planning on storming uh, Area 51. Let me know in the chat. Uh, this girl is now. <laughs> I'll take that pledge. Shoot. <laughs> well, you know, my thought was you already uh, on board. You know how to survive a uh, zombie apocalypse, scary movie. Um, so yeah, if aliens get out, I might be headed to Chicago so I can survive. <laughs> I got your back, Kent. Don't worry. Don't worry. Um, I don't know. I'd, I'd be. Uh, I would definitely be better during a zombie apocalypse. If it's an alien invasion, 
I mean, all bets are off. You don't know what's going to happen there. You never know. But I'm just, uh, I am super, just super entertained by, uh, by all these memes and like people taking the time. I mean, 900,000, that's a, that's quite, quite a lot of people. And I would like to know where she can make the pledge. Apparently they're, Facebook. They're, they're planning and it's, uh, it's crazy. Uh, we have gators now. What are you talking about, Glamour? Uh -oh. <laughs> We can't have uh, gators. We just cannot have gators. I can't. That would just. Hashtag Storm Area 51. <laughs> well, we'll see. So, uh, hopefully the government isn't monitoring the channel. Uh, hopefully we won't get <laughs> shut down. If like everything goes black and everything, you know, uh, we're being watched. If we get shut down, you know who it is, guys. All right. Yeah. And if you haven't made the pledge. Go look at Google or what is it? Facebook search bar and you know find yeah, it. Facebook. Be part of the like eight hundred thousand or almost nine hundred thousand. You said? Yeah, nine hundred thousand. Like all I put in, like I started typing area and like fifty one raid like came up right away on Google. So it's uh it's crazy. In Lincoln Park, Glamma, that is too close to me. I cannot even. If Gators. <laughs> Oh my God! Hell is freezing over somewhere. This is insane, people. <laughs> like, like the Washington <laughs> Post, according to this, uh, a day ago did an article. Half a million people signed up to storm Area Fifty One. Captain Pop is right, though. He said people talk big game online, but I doubt more than a hundred crazies would actually try and show show up. You're right. <laughs> That'd be an awesome scene, seeing like the. Uh, a hundred people that did show up. Maybe, uh, maybe it is the government at work. Mm. That would be fun to like, uh, to like go there during it. I don't know if I'd actually like, storm the gates <laughs> because, <laughs> um, I mean, I don't want to be shot or anything, but I'm hanging Lamp outside of the. So uh had the opportunity to meet uh Slam Pops yesterday. Awesome collecting couple. Uh they actually helped Greg out. Uh Greg was debating whether or not he was gonna get his pop authenticated and uh they kind of talked to him about uh how to get that done. So it was uh very cool meeting Slam Pops yesterday. Nice. What, um, get it authenticated like with a signature or just? Yeah, I'm trying to remember. It was, um, so he got his pop signed by, uh, one of the Baldwins yesterday. Ooh. I think, uh, Adam Baldwin. They, uh, they all look the same to me. <laughs> and, uh, they actually had uh, one of the authenticator companies, which also looked all the same to me. And uh, they were able to put like the sticker on it. And he's got the little matching card that uh, authenticates that, uh, that it was signed at the show. And it was only like 10 bucks. So that's not too bad. It was only and, two bucks? Uh, uh, ten dollars for uh to have it certified. Oh wow! Yeah, that's not bad at all, actually. And if you love stickers it, on your pop, you get uh one more sticker saying that it's been authenticated. Hmm, that's pretty awesome. I'm probably gonna get my ash signed by. Um. Wow, I can't think of his name right now. Bruce Campbell. Groovy. Totally groovy. <laughs> yeah, it was real weird. Uh, so I was in line with Ryan. He got his Obi-Wan Kenobi pop signed by the voice actor from uh, the Clone Wars. That was uh, that was interesting. 
Um, how long was the line for that? Uh, that was the short line. That only took us 15 minutes. Uh, Ryan got stuck in the Conrad line for uh, the guy that does all of the animated Batman the animated series, and I think he was in that line for like two hours. That's crazy to me. Hold up, time out. I cannot even today, okay? The... <laughs> Glamma, you have got to be pulling my leg right now. What the hell? Gwen, the gator is named Chance the Snapper, and it's in Humboldt Park. I've got to Google this. What is this world coming to, okay? <laughs> I cannot even believe there is a gator in my neck of the woods. I just cannot right now. Did, uh, did <laughs> Glamma, Glamma buy a new pet and set it free? Yeah, Glamma, was it you? <laughs> that just scares me so much. I can't even. They're like freaking real life dinosaurs, guys. They're ginormous. I've been to Florida once when I was a kid. The only thing I remember is seeing a gator and being completely traumatized that nobody else cared there was an alligator. I was like, oh, the thing was ginormous. And they're like, oh, it's gators. They're like squirrels here. And I'm just like, you got to be kidding me. Yeah, we used to go down to Orlando all the time. So uh, we'd have to walk in groups so we didn't uh, get taken by the gators. Oh, that's true, actually. That is a true story. Okay. Uh, Manny, he did put, my dad put a gator in Humboldt Park in the 80s. He did. He did. That's actually a true story. His did, mom told uh, me that. Just one. Find it? Huh? Did, uh, did they just find it? Uh, no, no, no. They, they found that one. Okay. <laughs> later. A few years later. Um, nice. But his dad. I don't know if one of his friends had it or whatever, but it got too big for them to actually take care of it. And then, because they, I, I don't know why anybody would think that they could take care of a freaking gator as a pet, but then they ditched it in the Humboldt Park pond. Yeah, they didn't want to eat uh, the gator. Huh? They, they didn't want to eat the gator? I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. I've had deep fried gator. It's actually delicious for anybody wondering. Oh, yeah. I've, I've oh. had gator meat before. Have you ever had deer jerky? I've had that. It's delicious. Oh, yeah. They, uh, the deer down here are a lot smaller than, uh, than the ones we had in Michigan. Mm. But, yeah, we got uh, all kinds of venison and... Uh, my parents still bring some venison down when they uh, come for the winter. We have deers in Chicago, actually. Um, we go to this one little, like, it's right in the middle of the city, but there's quite a few deers. City deers don't give a crap. They will walk right past you. They don't care. <laughs> they don't care about your personal space. Uh, oh, they'll, uh, they'll damage a car, that's for sure. Yeah. We've even seen coyotes. Um, there's a park around me called Winnemac, and they are actual uh, coyotes who've taken people's dogs with them and, oh, like, wow. never seen them again. And uh, one time I was, <laughs> we were parked, or we were driving, and the red light um, was on. Well, we were driving, and it turned to red. I swear to God, there was a coyote on one side. And as soon as the light changed, it walked across the street like it knew how to use the freaking stoplight. And it was the craziest thing I'd ever seen in my life. Now, like coyote. Uh, if you all start getting dire wolves in uh, Chicago, it's definitely uh, it's definitely Glamma Funko. <sighs> Glamma. She's the Glamma of dragons. Or dragons. Yeah, you start getting dragons in Chicago. Maybe maybe that's what it was. She uh, she thought she ordered a dragon, turned out to be a gator, and she set it loose. Hey, throw some wings on it. 
It's uh, it's better than uh, Storm in Area 51. There's there's no dragons in Area 51. Promise. D, look, Glamma just had a coyote with mange last week behind her house. Jesus, that must have looked way creepy. Mm. Insane. So I have a there's a box that Kent has. <clears throat> Look at this. Oh, look at that beautiful writing. I, I, I knew wrote that. exactly who that was going to. <laughs> All right. Got the scalpel. It's going to be surgery. I think I left my knife in the other room. Playing with uh, what Greg got me. Oil. There might be alien dragons at Area 51. Or lizard people. Brant, you know, it's Area 51. I'm sure there's some crazy stuff going on over there. Uh, like, some of my favorite stuff is uh, the memes where it talks about, like, the different things that are defending Area 51. So it, like, shows everybody going through, like, the doors. And uh, there's Darth Vader with the lightsaber, like, waiting for everybody. I've got to check out these memes. I didn't I didn't have a clue, guys, about this. He literally told me about it before we went live, and I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Yeah, I, I was in Area 51. Spoiler. You have strange buzzard-looking birds in North Carolina. They are ugly. That's what Glamour says. Uh, they are really weird. I actually had two that were like creeping by the house i thought for sure they were gonna like try to eat the dog yeah that was weird like i thought i was gonna have to like call somebody to get rid of them wow that's crazy i know some places have those like wild turkeys those i mean some people would think oh it's just a turkey but like they can kill you turkeys the they're they're big birds. Literally can kill you. Yeah, these were like almost like vultures. It was so weird. Uh, I don't know if like there was a squirrel or a rabbit in the neighborhood and they were trying to chow down on that. But uh, yeah, I Harold thought I was gonna, a turkey vulture. I thought I was going to have to call somebody. Turkey vultures. Hey, sometimes pops. How you doing? Oh, look at that fancy Very card. Very cool. I love you. Very <laughs> Thank you so much. I don't know what you're thanking me for. I'm the one that got the box. Ah, that is awesome. Ah, that is awesome. Thank you so, so much. Look at those stickers. Look at those. All them pros. And look at that sweet, sweet message. So for those of you that don't know, I actually have a collector's box. So anytime I get notes, I get cards, uh, I got them in the collector's box. It is uh, it's always awesome to, uh, to receive stuff, and uh, I definitely appreciate it. So this is uh, thank you, thank you. You're welcome, welcome. I do too. I keep everything anybody ever sends me. It's it's just it's a sweet little community we got here. A nerdy big kids. Here we go. Oh, look, kids. look at this. That was so very nicely packaged. <laughs> so nice. Yeah, you know when it's real pop people, right? And <laughs> Yeah, and a box. Uh, oh, real pop people. They know how to send stuff. And more bubble wrap. <laughs> and I'm, not even, I'm not even gonna take. The, I'm not taking the credit on it. That was all Manny. It was all Manny. Inception. We got <laughs> a box in a box in a box in a sorter. <laughs> Boom. Let's see. Let's uh let's let's make sure. We gotta make sure. Oh yeah, look at that guy. The man. 
in I had to. I had to. The one, the only Michael Jordan. Look at that. Look at that Foot Locker sticker. Ah, oh, that's so nice and bright. Ah, oh, thank you so much. That is awesome. You honestly, all credit goes to Manny because I know you were in my stream once and you said it. And since then, he's like, I got to get him a bronze store and I got to get him a bronze store. And he was like looking everywhere. I think he ended up trading something with someone. I don't even know what. And then he was like, make sure Kent doesn't have him still. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> cool. And that's when I messaged you like, do you have a bronze Jordan yet? You're like, no, I was like, okay, I got you. We got you. So, that is so awesome. Definitely uh, going to get this guy in a shoe me protector. Got the target <laughs> Jordan, got the, the common Jordan, got the, um, oh man, what was the other site? Fanatics Jordan. So that is awesome. Uh, somebody sent me a custom. I think it was Christina Payne. And they took one of the old, um, I forget what that little basketball game was. So there was actually like a little hoop. And he was going up like he was going to dunk. Like that thing was awesome. Oh, I didn't see that. That's awesome. I have all the Jordans too. Um because of you too, thank you. Because you sent me the Target exclusive. Because again, I'm from Chicago, so those were I, I've never even seen one. They were just gone. Big dubs with the super chat. My very first super chat. Uh, it was definitely awesome. Uh, I wish we would have had a lot more time to hang out, but uh, it was so cool to see uh, Big Dubs uh definitely check out his videos i am always entertained uh definitely enjoy all of uh big dub on instagram he uh he keeps me smiling you're awesome big dub that's a sweet channel name too by the way it's oh yeah his, it's what he is on instagram too big dub oh yeah sweet. yeah he uh, he does uh, so much funny stuff. He uh, he keeps me entertained, and uh, I I can't imagine uh, all all the fun him and Josh Pence. Uh, I've definitely been enjoying all the Instagram stories. Uh, it's been been a fun weekend. So we're uh, we're definitely gonna plan something. We're gonna we're gonna hang out uh, more big dubs because uh, you're definitely one of those people. Don't raid Area 51, though. Oh, and Nick Adams is sending me all the memes now. <laughs> Area 51. <laughs> uh, aren't they great? Well, those we were to take out at Area 51. Wait, what's that piano music? Uh, well, I can't, I can't show that one. That's uh, <laughs> that one's pretty, pretty bad. And like, um, so GameStop's having like a Fallout sale where it's like this big old toy gun and like uh some kind of like brass knuckles or all kinds of like guns like and uh of course people are like all right i'm getting all my area 51 gear uh thanks to the sale at the uh, gamestop <sighs> i hear gamestop's closing that's 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 the word around the street right now which breaks my heart really yeah hopefully they figure it out because i uh, went to think geek the uh yesterday like we randomly went to this mall uh looking for gnc and gnc was in the mall and uh yeah we went to a think geek and man that's Maybe they should just make all the game stops into Think Geeks. Yeah. Well, that well, the one guy that Manning talks to a lot, like he's like a manager there. They were saying that they might just stop the whole game part of it and just sell collectibles because at this point, people either just you know download to their actual you know. Right, councils and stuff. They don't go out and like buy a hard copy of anything much anymore. 
And also, they're trading, buying stuff is kind of lame. So people don't even go there to like sell their games anymore because, like, what do they give you? Like a dollar? <laughs> a dollar. That's the best part about downloading them. You don't have that. You're not even tempted to go in there to get rid of your disc and stuff because you don't have any. Yeah. Everybody's sending me photos now. Of these freaking. <laughs> oh no, she sent me a thing of your Christina. She sent me a, a pic of your custom. That's yeah, isn't awesome. That, cool? that is so cool. Damn, Christina, did you do that yourself? Oh no, Silver Moon Custom Pops. Nice. Like, that is nice. Uh, that's uh that's the moment that we need, Funko. Mm-hmm. Um, I need you to be on one of my lives soon. We need to have this Ken Pool Uncensored because anybody who watches my channel knows that I am a little more the uh, adult language happening there. <laughs> yeah, we'll line it up. Uh, I don't know how much adult language I'll drop, but uh, we, we can have some fun with it. No, I know. I know. That's cool. I understand. You got you know, you to keep your... Your clean cut persona, buddy. I get it. <laughs> that, that's right. I'm, I'm like the Captain America of the group. You know, we're in like mod chats and stuff, and I'm like language. <laughs> uh, that's not true. You've been in mine, and you've never, you've never once in language. <laughs> uh, that's well. You know, we'll, we'll say there's uh, there's ladies in there, so I let the ladies do what they need to do. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. But you know, I, 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 I don't ask ages, you know, all that kind of stuff, all all the gentleman stuff. Uh, the, la the ladies are doing what they need to in the chat, so I, I try not to interrupt, you know. Just, uh, just Christina, be hey. She says we need another angel stream. Yes, what's up with that? What is we up do. with that? Uh, so I was working a ton of overtime. I think uh, once we kind of get through uh raleigh will will definitely set something up because it's uh, <laughs> it's about that time yes you did drop an f-bomb on my stream gwen you did shock everyone you didn't shock me though that's fine <laughs> uh uh cap Wait till you see Glamour after dark. Yeah, that's, uh, well, I'll have Glamour too. I'll have Kent, I'll have Glamour, and then, you know, she'll she'll be the perfect balance. You don't have to swear, she'll swear for you. <laughs> there you go. Long she doesn't get me in too much trouble. Ah, she won't. She's Alexandra, hey girl. She's also uh, from around these parts. We need to meet up soon. All of us, Glamour, Chicago, checking in. Rebel, we need to hang out soon. The Funko fam. But yeah, I want to do an angel stream again. That was so much fun. It's one of my highlights on here. So. Yeah, we'll have to. Um, so that was like a winter stream. So we'll have to put together our uh, our summer angel stream. Sweet. I'll be there. But yeah, that'd definitely be a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun last time. That video is actually uh, not too far off from 100K, which uh, is pretty impressive because we went for quite a while. So for uh, people to jump in there and watch it after the fact is always awesome. Sometimes live streams can be tough uh, going back in watching if uh if you're not there and part of it the uh, first time around yeah I, I i understand it yeah i get views too sometimes after my streams and i'm just like man who sat through two hours of me talking about like nothing really <laughs> i appreciate you we all appreciate you <laughs> it's funner when you're there and you're like you know uh chiming in and commenting and stuff like that so well, I'm, wear your bikini uh, yes glam i will you gonna wear your bikini let's do this i don't have a bikini uh, actually. you know if uh 
you know, content creator, you look at your different opportunities. A lot of times when I look at live streams, it's uh, trying to make those interactions with the chat and stuff. So to uh, to also interact with the chat plus make it uh, something that you can watch over, uh, you know, you're you're doing a great job as a content creator if uh, if you can do both things. I don't know if I'm doing a great job. I just, you know, turn on my smartphone and talk about stuff. And then there you go. <laughs> well, I mean, again, live. I mean, you're great at interacting with uh, with the chat and everything. So definitely taking advantage of that format. Yes, most people who come to my lives get get modded real quick. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you've come to a couple lives, that I know you. Like know you, I you get modded. I call it I call it maximum security. <laughs> if I if everybody's uh, guarding the chat, you uh, you should be in good shape. Yes, exactly. So that's, that's all my peeps. You're my peeps. Actually, most of them are here right now. <laughs> nice, thanks for hanging out with us on a Sunday night. So you got. Uh, Got anything upcoming this week? Anything we should uh, keep an eye out for? Um, not really. Well, I mean, I was going to do um, a comic haul because, I mean, like I said, I got these. I got the first editions of the spoiler guys, but it's not a spoiler. Maybe you can see it on Google. Rick Grimes dying. I grabbed these, and then I grabbed... Um, the last two of the Batman Who Laughs. So I was going to show those. Oh, very cool. Um, we got one, one with the variant covers because we're all about like, I like to try to get the variant covers, especially of that series because they're just freaking cool looking. Um, but there's one, I think it's issue four. I cannot find, I can't find the variant cover four and I'm really upset about it. Oh my God, Clem is actually sending me a freaking <laughs> a video from the night NBC Nightly News of the alligator in uh -oh. um, Humboldt Park. It's legit, guys. We got gators and shy. It's it's insane. Uh, I thought maybe she was sending you the uh, the bikini photos. Yes, from Walking Dead. Love. I went hard on Walking Dead this weekend at ACC. Did you? I love the Walking Dead. Oh my God. Well, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I got these guys. I just got this guy to complete my 10 inch um, McFarlane fig. And then, oh, and then this guy, I have to talk about just real quick. I got my first custom, speaking of customs, because we were just talking about it, for my buddy James. Um, he actually glittered out Negan. I, I didn't know Negan needed glitter, but nice. he freaking did. And I love him. And it was done by Glitter Pop Addict. She did a phenomenal job. Um, it's like Negan and Freddie Mercury had a baby. <laughs> that uh, that could uh, distract a few people. <laughs> I'm probably the only one in the world who has one of these, okay? <laughs> a freaking Glitter Negan. It just tickles me. I'm so excited. Yeah, that's definitely, that's awesome. Uh, Everything is better with glitter. Yes, Glamour. Well, you know, you got to gotta make your collection. Yeah, your sometimes collection. Pops asked a little bit ago, you should take the bronze Jordan out of the box. Uh, yeah. Man, I'm uh, I'm back in my fave. Uh, uh, I'm a little scared to take him out of the box. <laughs> I'm I'm still trying to. Uh, That's all right. It's all right. I understand. Oh man, like I already hit him away. It's he's, cool, he's, bro. It's yours. You can do whatever you want with it. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe a video. <laughs> Harold's like, don't do it, Kent. There's just some people who are like, no, absolutely not. Like. My bestie, she, Betty, she will not. I'm like, girl, you just take it out. I mean, you're missing detail on your pop if you don't turn it around, you know? Like, look at the back of it. What's wrong with you? People are like, mm-mm. 
so the goat is comfy uh, in the box. He is glamour. While everybody is storming Area 51, I'm going to storm Spectrum Arena and try to get Michael Jordan to sign my pop. Oh, my God. If you can get that to happen, bro. Which one? Which one specifically? Uh, I mean, the bronze one would look uh, awfully nice sign. Not to say that, I mean, any of them would be amazing signed. The bronze is my favorite. Him in flight would be my favorite. It's just he needs a tongue sticking out. Right. It's just, it's, it's, you know, he's dunking. It's Jordan. They needed to put a little, like, red tongue sticking out. But Funko's just uh, just waiting for somebody to sign up for the exclusive. Right. <laughs> exactly. I feel like a huge champion. <laughs> Jeanette said Greg would have taken the pop out of the box. <laughs> we, we got, uh, we got the Ric Flair pop. We got the Michael Jordan uh, bronze pop. It's, uh, it's oh crazy. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Am I just playing? Oh, Greg would. <gasps> oh, my God. Big dub. Everybody's messaging me on Instagram today. I feel so popular. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> my high school self is just smitten right now. Um. <laughs> Holy crap, that's awesome. That's nice. My final commission of Rick Grimes. It's from Vanessa Dover. Oh, so somebody made that? Oh, wow. Yeah, he picked that up some, awesome. uh, some real good stuff at the con. Mm. I did not see that you'll be at what con in Chicago in October? I, I'm going to have to try and go now. Jeez. <laughs> Any chance to hang out with Glamour, I'd be down. She's holding the very first Glamour con in uh, Chicago. She's just going to hold her <laughs> own con. Nice. Uh, I will definitely remember Christina. <laughs> She's the master of mods. She's always on point. She's got her ish together. I love it. You go, Christina. I love it. Yeah, I guess I could push that one more time. So Wednesday night, uh, because the stores decided to move up their releases, uh, originally we were going to go Thursday night, but uh, Wednesday night, 10 p.m. Eastern, mega stream. Uh, we'll be over on Jet of Patrol. We're going to be hanging out with some other YouTubers, talking SDCC. I know uh, everybody doesn't get too excited, but uh, I might talk about the Marvel Legends SDCC, and uh, we'll definitely be talking about a bunch of pops. So come uh, come hang out with us Wednesday night. And uh, they mega streams are awesome. And... Uh, don't be surprised if there are uh, maybe some grails being given away Wednesday night. Ooh, I'll be there. I've got no plans Wednesday. Some lame. <laughs> Jon Snow! <gasps> Grandma! You're going to touch Kit Harrington? Mmm, <laughs> yummy. That's all I got to say about that. My God, so jealous, jealous. That's probably already sold out, so that's not even gonna be a thing that I get to do. She, she got the mm. VIP experience too. I bet she did. Do you, Glamma? Do you, girl? Remember, you know when you go in for the hug, hold him longer than he needs to be held. <laughs> <laughs> You take in that moment and you, you know, for all it's worth. Uh, Captain Marvel's going to be there also. Awesome. Nice. Shoot, I'm going to have to go to this con. I'm going to have to go. Chicago's not playing around. Nope. Nope. So, yes, we need to talk and we need to do an angel stream real soon. Um, that, that was fun. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll definitely set up another Angel stream. 
And I uh, also want to thank everybody for all of the awesome support. Uh, just went over 1,700 subs. So thank everybody for uh, checking out the channel, ringing that bell. Uh, it's, it's awesome. Uh, definitely have a lot of awesome people in the Kent Pool Live, but uh, it's always fun to uh, to add new people to the pool. So definitely we'll uh, we'll keep making the pool bigger. Awesome content. So uh, thanks everybody for for all that support. Yeah, seriously, you're cool, dude. I couldn't um, you deserve like a million more, really. <laughs> I appreciate it. We'll work at it. Um, had a had a lot of fun putting the con video together. Uh, I'm real proud. Uh, my our Charlotte Comic Con has been my best video yet. So that's awesome. I feel like I was on my home court and put together that awesome video. So uh, definitely gonna keep it up and uh, learning a lot, having fun and meeting a lot of awesome people in the process. Yeah. That's what this YouTube is about though. Right. I, this, I've met Matt. Let's be honest. I haven't really met like a bunch of you, but I met so many awesome people on here that we would never have known because we all live, you know, different states, different countries, even it's cool cool thing so happy i started this yeah it was, grandma, uh, you so yesterday was our second year going to atlanta i think uh year one we probably ran into like maybe two or three people like Yesterday, we ran into so many people. It was awesome. I uh, got to meet a lot of awesome people yesterday. Uh, people that watch the channels, people that uh, create content. So it was crazy. Like, we're, uh, we might have to get a table next year. Ooh, fancy. You big time. You guys are big time. <laughs> <laughs> like we probably we probably spent a couple hours just meeting and talking with people. It was what an awesome experience and uh, always cool to run into people, talk about uh, the content, talk about what people are doing, what they're working on. So it's uh, it's a lot of fun. A meeting of the minds. I dig it. That's awesome. That is so awesome. Hi, SSJ Scoot. I think uh, I think we've been on for it's been about an hour, hasn't it? I don't know. I don't. I don't have my usual timer. Yeah, an hour. So uh, I think an hour and twenty. I think we'll uh, we'll call it a Sunday night camp pool live. Uh, for anybody that's going to be watching uh, Jetta After Dark, it's going to be a little later tonight. Uh, Ryan had a conference call, but uh, I will definitely be in the chat for uh, Jetta After Dark. So hopefully uh, people will come and hang out and um, we'll definitely have some fun. Uh, there might be a surprise for uh, one of the mods tonight. I think uh, Ryan's going to be Ooh. doing a mods only giveaway tonight. So come and uh, cheer on your favorite mods and see uh, see who gets to take home the prize. Oh, that's so sweet. I am torn on this. <laughs> I'm torn on this one because I would pick Mary 777, but I would also pick Christina Payne. I love you both. Hey, come! Oh, but in. I also I really dig Harold. Come and uh, come and cheer them both on. Oh, and, I, uh, it uh, it'll be fun. I, oh, I'm and sure Seamus. Nobody, nobody will be disappointed. All right, uh, I will definitely be there, rooting on my peeps. But uh, this was. But thank you for having me, Kent. You're awesome. 
fun. Any anytime hanging out with Lady Days. Uh, I mean, again, I'm just uh, I'm just looking at the clock. It doesn't feel like it's been that long, but uh, how awesome! Uh, I do gotta just work on a couple things before uh, jump in there and play. But uh, it is uh, always fun to have you on. Um, you and Space Child, like I said, uh, we got our little Jordan team going, helping each other out. So we're going to make sure that uh, we're all getting the Jordan collection. And I appreciate uh, you both helping me out with uh, with the bronze Jordan. Uh, I'm actually, I'm going to get over to Walmart and uh, see if I can't get you all one of, uh, one of those uh, Mysterios. I think I saw a saw him in store lately so i'll go see if i can scoop you all yeah. not us uh, not at all and i would thank you if you do because i mean he's cool but he'd be better if he glowed you know gotta, what I mean? gotta get that glow <laughs> gotta get that glow <laughs> get your glow on <laughs> all right i thank you um you rock kent you're awesome well i appreciate it thank y'all for hanging out with me if you have not subscribed to uh, Lady Days, get over, check out her channel. She does so much good stuff. She'll she'll help you save some money too. So even uh, even if you don't like all this stuff and you just need a great deal, she's gonna tell you about great deals. So get over to Lady Days, and uh, before you know it, you're gonna see uh, Kent Pool uncensored on lady days you you don't see that here on Kent pool live so only on the lady days channel uh Kent pool uncensored so you better get over there you better subscribe you better have your notifications on so you don't miss it that would that, that'll be the highlight of my life <laughs> We, uh, we might do some freestyling. You don't know. It uh, it could be a crazy session. And uh, well, if, uh, if she has, uh, yeah, if she invites anybody else, they uh, they might try getting me in trouble. So you're, you're not going to want to miss that. Glamour, hit me up too. Uh, <laughs> well, thanks, everybody. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for watching. Big Dubs, thank you so much for uh, the first super chat. That was uh, very cool. And uh, if you haven't had an opportunity and you're interested in the Kent Pool Live mystery boxes, all of the funds go into supporting the channel, getting the cons, giveaways, all that kind of good stuff. So if you'd like to help support the channel, Kent Pool Live at gmail.com get that information and uh we'll get you some mystery boxes and hey there's uh there's some pretty good stuff in the mystery boxes so you uh you might not be disappointed with uh what you get and support the channel that's a win-win agreed <laughs> all right i feel like a winner already uh you are and uh, again, I appreciate you coming on and uh, definitely looking forward to more content from Lady Days. And she, uh, she's she got me convinced we're, uh, we're putting together the Summer Angel Stream. So definitely stay tuned for a Summer Angel Stream. It's, uh, it's going to be a good time in the Kent Pool. So if this is your first time getting some of this content, Jump on in, ring that bell, have fun collecting, always be hunting.